Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the best point guards in NBA 2K22, my team, on a tier list. Now, this video has 32 point guards on this list, so it might be a little bit of a long video, um, but if y'all do enjoy the video and enjoy these tier list videos, which I'm going to start doing a lot more of than I've been doing in the past, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push to the 2500 subscriber mark on the channel as well. Um, I may not go in depth on every single one of these cards. I will go in depth on a lot of them, and this is as up to date as I can get it. I do believe, I'm pretty sure every single point guard that's like a top point guard in the game is on this list and um, yeah one other thing to mention this tier list is of the best point guards in the game they're going to be cards who are in the d and f tier who are still good cards they're not bad point guard options but you have to put cards in lower tiers that aren't as good and so if they have issues significant flaws things like that that's going to draw them down this list for sure um but yeah without further ado let's hop right into it start off with louis dampier so louis dampier i'm going to pull up 2kdb i'm going to be using 2kdb for most of the players and louis dampier is a solid card um he's got 92 speed 90 shot three can't dunk the ball at all which is a little bit of an issue giant slayer mismatch expert floor generals hall of fame badges gets every defensive badge but doesn't come with them but he can get like clamps interceptor things like that he's six foot has a six seven wingspan so he's pretty small but does have a good wingspan his jumper is nice and slasher dribble style sucks so he's got a bad dribble style can't dunk the ball doesn't come with a bunch of defensive badges thankfully he does have a lot of other badges like the shooting badges things like that and can get defensive badges which does help him out but the thing is the lack of ability to dunk the ball the slasher dribble style and the lack of elite defense makes him a very very tough card to use he is a d tier point guard on this game right now at least of these players i would say um russell westbrook probably a little bit better than, than louis dampier russ is a guy who is similar to louis dampier i feel like in certain ways in that he has the slasher dribble style or maybe he has base dribble style no he has russell westbrook dribble style which acts very similarly to a slasher it's not a dribble style you can burst through his jumper is decent not great um 79 shot three as well isn't great and he doesn't get really a lot of good shooting badges lucky number seven is good besides that he does have hall of fame quick first step which is nice but without a great dribble style it's kind of hard to trigger it i feel like does have hall of fame fast switch timer and downhill as well which help him out and he's a solid defender with the ability to slash through and dunk the ball as well i may even be selling him a little bit short because he's decent Decent defensively as well and his ability to slash the ball i'm going to move him up to b tier but i just am not high on russell westwick because he cannot create his own shot and he is not an elite defender that being said he still does have some value just a very expensive card in my opinion probably an overpriced card in my team right now steph curry i think is a tier and i will say this there's only going to be two maybe three point cards that i put in s in s tier and uh steph curry is not one of them i do think steph curry is a very solid card though he has the ability to shoot the ball at an incredibly high level as y'all know um he's i mean when he's open he's gonna make every shot basically he's got tons of shooting badges hall of fame chef on this one the other one only has gold chef but they're very similar cards defensively he's not terrible either so bronze clans bronze interceptor silver pick do pick dodger pickpocket and silver or I'm sorry, gold pick dodger pickpocket and silver ankle braces. Comes with bronze quick first step. And the biggest issue with this card is the bronze quick first step, the inability to up to add quick chain at all. The fact that he doesn't come with mismatch expert, which mismatch expert, which is a pretty important point shot. I'm sorry, a pretty important shooting badge for point cards to have. And defensively, you can't touch his badges badges at all. So he struggles to like create his own shot at the level that you would like him to. That being said, Steph is still a really good point guard. He is a top five point guard in my team. Really, really good all around card. Just not worth his price in my opinion compared to a couple of other point guards in this game who i do prefer over steph um additionally fred van vliet i think he's ah this one's tough for me because i love fred van vliet but i don't think at this point in the game he can be any higher i mean on a list like this I just say there's a lot of I'm gonna put it in B tier because there's a lot of guys in this list that I can see that I would take Fred Van Vliet over. I'll put it that way. Fred is a very solid card. He's a great budget card and he gets a lot of great badges, which is really nice. Has a lot of total badges, six one of the six two wingspan, so he's definitely undersized. But he comes with a bunch of shooting badges. His shooting badges can basically all be touched as well. He can get chef, he can get level of spot up, his quick first step can be upgraded, his quick chain can be upgraded, his handles for days can be upgraded, his clamps can be upgraded, as well as interceptor pogo stick, comes with a lot of defensive badges already, can get the intimidator badge. Um defense step stats are solid athleticism is decent good three-point shot can't dunk the ball at all he's like a louis dampier with much more adjustable badges as well as a good dribble style he has a nice jump shot the quick dribble style obviously is great and uh, just a really nice all-around card a guy who i really really enjoyed using at the beginning of the year he was my favorite point guard in the game for the first couple of weeks of this of the game and uh, definitely a card that i'm very high on and think can still be used honestly even in a competitive setting stefan barbary is probably a c-tier point guard he is a budget derrick rose not a bad card he has the same dribble six as d rose same jump 
jump shot is D Rose. He's got good speed, a little bit of shooting ability, can dunk the ball, and isn't a great defender, but he's not terrible. And he does get the clamps badge if you want to add it to him as well. So this comes with a couple of defensive badges. Shooting badge wise, he's limited, similar to D Rose. He's got the same jumper as D Rose, the quick dribble style, and the really nice D Rose size up, which is nice. But he doesn't play, I don't feel like, as well as D Rose. He's six through with a six-four wingspan, but doesn't feel big, and he's not a great defender. Uh, definitely limited on the defensive end of the court. Solid card, not a great card at this point in the game. He's a C tier point guard. Jason Terry is A tier. He is a top. He's uh, he's probably number five, but I'd say he's a top five point guard in my team. Six two with a six five wingspan, which is in decent ish size. Four hot spots out of five from the three point line, as well as most of them from inside the three point line. Comes with most every shooting badge that you need in the game. Actually, he comes with every shooting badge that you need in the game, and can even get his chef and level spot up upgraded. Comes with Hall of Fame quick first step. The gold playmaking badges like bullet, bullet passer, bailout, ankle breaker, handles for days. Um, Comes with Silver Dimer Hyperdrive, um, Unpluckable Gold Quick Chain, can get defensive badges, clamps, interceptor, pickpocket, pogo stick, things like that. Defensive stats are pretty bad, but he's really fast and he's a great shooter. Can dunk the ball when he's wide open. He actually is a capable of dunking the ball, even with a 40 driving dunk, but he's only triggered like one or two driving dunks that I've used. Uh, so he's not going to dunk the ball much at all. He will lay the ball in. And his layup animations aren't great, but his jump shot is super nice. It's very similar to Rudy Gay's jumper is what it looks like, and he's got the quick dribble style. He moves well. His dribble sigs aren't incredible, but the Pro 5 behind the back is solid the quick dribble style with the call of him quick first step is super valuable as well his size up isn't great unfortunately i wish he had a better size up but besides that he does everything on a very high level except for his ability to dunk the ball but even with the defensive badges added that improves his defense as well and for that reason i would put him a tier one of if not the best budget point guards in the game gary payton is the best point guard in my team in my opinion he is s tier without a doubt i love gary payton um i'm really looking forward to getting him on my account because i'm st i started another account that uh i will be grinding unlimited on this week because i need to get gary payton on my band account for tournaments and stuff but that being said 93 speed 93 excel 93 93 speed with ball 70 driving dunk he dunks the ball solidly his defense is elite he's six foot four with a six foot seven wingspan and he's got an 83 shot three he's got base 40 with a nice upper it's easy to green with it's not super fast but it's solid pro three behind the back shifty dribble style pro two between the legs he has the best dribble sigs in the game also comes a silver sniper can get the the chef badge uh, can get dead eye as well does not get blinders which is a little bit disappointing but defensively he's the best defensive point guard in the game it's not close with hall of fame ankle braces ball stripper clamps menace pick dodger pickpocket and tireless defender as well as gold badges like interceptor intimidator and pogo stick does not get chase down artists which is a little bit disappointing because that's a nice badge to have this year with the way blocks are but that being said still an elite card elite defender the best point guard in my team right now i love gary payton and i'm really looking forward to having him again on my squad Spencer Dinwiddie is another guy that I'm going to go ahead and put in A tier. Um, am I going to put Spencer Dinwiddie in A tier? I don't know. I'm tempted to put him in B tier. I know Ty is super high on Spencer Dinwiddie. I personally don't love the card, but the thing that he has going for him is the fact that he is six foot six with a six eight wingspan. He's got exceptional size. His jumper is actually solid. It's not great. He's got shifty dribble style. He can dunk. He can move a little bit, and he's got 89 speed and excel. Can dunk the ball as well. Defensively, his stats suck, and he doesn't get any defensive badges. But at six foot six, he still plays decent defense for a point guard um just because size is important defensively this year does not get the quick first step badge either which is disappointing this is not a primary ball handler card but he can be very cheesy if you know how to use him especially as a pick and roll screener you can use him as a screener and he will create mismatches against opposing point guards uh, because of his size and the paint he rebounds the ball well for a point guard he does he gives you a lot of value on the court despite the fact that he doesn't get defensive badges doesn't have quick first step uh he shoots the ball at a solid level as well i like his shooting ability and honestly he's a very solid card i struggle whether to put him in a or b it's 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 a close one for me but i think i'm going to lean toward the a tier for right now this might be changed but for now i'm going to put him in a tier uh sleepy floyd i'm going to put in c tier sleepy is decent not great he just he feels like a card who's like a little bit capable of everything but not great at anything six three with a six six wingspan a solid size two hot spots from outside the three point line 84 shot three 89 speed and excel 89 speed of the ball can dunk the ball and a little bit of defense he just doesn't play great he has silver quick first steps silver clamps neither of them can be upgraded he doesn't get chef or limitless spot up which are two pretty important badges but he does have blinders uh does get the sniper badge does have solid playmaking badges he can duck the ball a little bit he's not incredibly slow he's got good dribble style the profile behind the back and his jumper is decent not great he is 
he's okay. He's very expensive to lock in for one, and he doesn't play great on the court. I've used this card, and he just does not do anything impressive. His jumper, I don't like his upper that much. His base is great. Base 22 is a really nice jump shot, uh, but I don't love his upper. It feels like it slows it down almost. And he's just so mediocre. His stats and badges would tell you that he's better than he is, but he just doesn't perform well on the court. And for me personally, not a card that I personally enjoy using at this point. He might be B tier, but for right now, I'm going to put him in C tier. Another guy I'm going to put in C tier is Oscar Robertson, who would have been elite with a couple of changes, but unfortunately, without those changes, he's not. 6'5 and 6'8 wingspan is phenomenal size. Three hotspots from outside the three-point line. 85 shot three with a good release is nice. 87 speed and excel with an 87 speed with ball is solid as well. Um, not great, though, for a point guard. Can get chef, can get sniper. He gets shooting badges, and he's a good shooter, um, but he has base dribble style, which is a terrible dribble style for creating your own shot. Um, can dunk the ball a little bit, which is nice, but he doesn't get really any of the good defensive badges that you want. Um, he doesn't come with it. He the ability to get interceptor or clamps or ankle braces or ball stripper or things like that. He can get pickpocket and does come with bronze pick dodgers that can be upgraded and defensive stats wise, he's not terrible, but with the lack of a dribble style, um, he's not gonna be able to create his own shot. His jumper is good, not incredible, and his defense is very limited as well. He is just a He's a decent card. And he's also crazy expensive to lock in. Still is the lock in for the Dunktober set. Not a card that I recommend picking up in any way, shape, or form. Um, Dave Bing. Where do we put Dave Bing? I'm going to put Dave Bing in B because he's great at everything except for his shot, his jump shot. His jump shot is dirt, though. It's like to the point that I almost want to put him in C tier. That or. Yeah, I almost want to put him in C tier. I'll put him in B, though. 95 offense, 92 defense, 6 3 6 6 wingspan. Again, is pretty solid size. Two hotspots from outside the three point line. Comes with a 94 speed and excel. 94 speed with ball. 86 shot three. 60 driving dunk and good defensive stats. Can get clamps or comes with clamps. Can get it upgraded to gold. Same with interceptor, pickpocket. Uh, has silver ankle braces and ball stripper. Can get chase down artist, intimidator, pogo stick. Um, comes with Hall of Fame bullet pass, which is a great badge. Comes with gold blinders, gold sniper, silver chef. Uh, can get dead i can get limitless comes with gold quick first step he's a great great card in those areas can even dunk the ball a little bit he comes with quick dribble style the pro five behind the back pro eight between the legs everything is beautiful about this car except for the fact that he has set shot four which is the same base as Peja. it is gross it is not a good jump shot at all and that knocks him down a couple tiers if he came with a really nice jump shot he would be a borderline I don't know if I want to say he'd be an S tier point guard, but I think he would definitely be an A tier point guard. And instead, he is like a card that I considered putting in C tier. Just not a guy that I am super high on right now. Um, Jamal Murray is a card that, in all honesty, I haven't used because he's not very common. He's a guy you had to pull out of promo packs. But he is 6'4 with 6'6 six, six wings, 93 offense, 86 defense, 3 hot shots from outside the 3 point line. Comes with a little bit of finishing badges and 80 driving dunk. Solid shooting badges as well. Does not get Chef or Limitless, but he does have Sniper that can be upgraded. Comes with the ability to get quick first step and only gets ankle braces defense defensively defensive stats are decent 87 speed quick dribble style he's got a nice jump shot his jumper is the same that it was last year can shoot the ball speed isn't great but not terrible he looks like a slightly better oscar robertson in all honesty uh in terms of his ability to create his own shot has that quick dribble style slightly better slasher as well a guy that i think it would go would deserve does deserve to be a b-tier point guard um there's gonna be a lot of b-tier point guards because walt frazier is you know what i don't like walt frazier so i'm putting him in c tier if you, if you don't like it, you don't have to like it. That's okay. But you know what? He plays defense great. He doesn't do a lot else well. 82 shot three is good, but his jump shot stinks. He has base dribble style, which limits his ability with his 89 speed, excel speed of the ball, which again, isn't great. He can dunk the ball. Hall of Fame bullet is a great badge as well as Hall of Fame floor general, but defensively, he's great. His jumper is garbage. Like I almost don't want to shoot the ball with him because he has a beta jump shot um, and he doesn't have the ability to create a shot like Dave Bing. He is a worse Dave Bing in all honesty. They're both six foot four as well. Walt plays defense, but that's all he really does for you. And um, at this point in the game, if you don't really have an offensive game, I think you're a C tier card. So. Now, DeJounte Murray is a guy who I personally think is very similar to Walt Frazier. I think he's just a better Walt Frazier because, for one, he has the ability to shoot the ball, which Walt Frazier does not have. DeJon I mean, DeJon Walt can shoot the ball. His jumper just sucks. DeJounte actually has a decent jumper. It's not great. He's also faster. 93 speed in Excel, 93 speed of ball, 80 driving dunk, so slightly better slashing ability. Defensively, he's also super solid. Already comes with gold ankle braces, interceptor, ball stripper, pick dodger, pickpocket. Comes with silver clamps that can be upgraded. Gets... Uh, chase down artist intimidator pogo stick badges like that also has an 85 shot three a better jump shot than walt has and he gets the sniper badge which is a really nice shooting badge i like his jumper much better slasher dribble style he does i feel like move better than walt i think that can be attributed to the gold to the gold quick first step and the good speed acceleration speed with ball and i just like him better than walt i feel like he's a better walt frazier and for that reason 
I think he's a B tier point card. Gilbert Arenas is terrible. He's D tier. I'm not sure I'll put a, I'll say this. I'm not sure I'm going to put a single card in F tier. The Gilbert Arenas, if he wasn't, I mean, statistically he's good, but the card is just not good at all. He's like, he's one of the worst point guards on this list. I'll say that. Six three with a six nine wingspan, three hots from outside the three point line, six hops, including hots on Hunter Green Machine, Bullet Passer, Space Creator, Slither Finisher, and Volume Shooter. Comes with Bronze Sniper, Bronze Chef, Silver Catch, uh, Gold Limit with Spot Up Blinders, Dead Eye. Comes with Gold Quick First Step. Um, Quick chain can be upgraded, can get hyperdrive. Doesn't get any good defensive badges except for the silver pick dodger, silver pogo stick. Defensive stats are decent, not great. Can slash, can shoot, and decent speed. Thing is, his jumper is awful. He has base dribble style, and he doesn't come with defensive badges. So he has a terrible jumper, like a Walt Frazier. He has a base dribble style, like a Walt Frazier. And he doesn't defend like Walt Frazier does. And he's also smaller. He statistically is a great card. Badge-wise, he's a solid card, not a great card, besides the defensive badges. But his animations are just awful terrible dribble style garbage jump shot he just does not do anything honestly all that good in this game and for that reason i think he's a d-tier point guard just a card that i would never ever use drew holiday similarly to dejounte murray um actually i would put drew holiday in c tier i like drew holiday i think you can make an argument that he's b tier i might even be insulting the card a little bit uh six three with six seven wingspan 83 shot three 89 speed and excel can dunk a little bit 93 perimeter 94 ladder with an 89 speed with the ball bronze kick for step that can be upgraded comes with hall of fame ankle braces gold clamps gold interceptor intimidator pick dodger pick pocket gold bullet pass or glue hands catch and shoot uh doesn't get blinders or sniper or limitless but that being said he can dunk the ball a little bit playmaking badges can be upgraded his Jumper is amazing. Jump shot 29 is phenomenal, which is one of the things that makes the lack of elite shooting badges doesn't hurt as much because of how good his jump shot is. He has the base dribble style. He's a better Walt Frazier, similarly to DeJounte Murray. I just don't think he's quite as good as DeJounte Murray. And you know what? I like DeJounte Murray so much, I'm going to put him in A tier. I don't put Drew Holiday in D tier or B tier. That's the way I think I'm going to do it in for this list. Kemba Walker. I hate to put Kemba Walker in F tier, but all the card does is dribble. He can't defend. He's really small, and he can't sh he, he can't shoot. 85 shot three. He's got a good jump shot, but he can't dunk the ball, and he can't defend. No good defensive bad. His defensive stats are mediocre, and he's really small. Uh, animations. His jumper is nice. Uh, his dribble style is good, and his dribble sigs are good, but... He, 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 he's shooting, his badges are all on silver. He doesn't have single gold badges. The card is just too outdated. He's, I think he's an F tier point guard because he doesn't, all he does is dribble the ball and he can shoot the ball a little bit, but he's l so limited on badges. Defense is so bad and he can't slash at all. For that reason, I would put him in F tier. And I think when we get a good Kimbo Walker card, if he can dunk the ball a little bit, he'll be a nice card. But right now he's just an F tier guy. Damian Lillard, uh, C or D. I'm going to go C and I'm going to look at his stats and see if I change my mind to D. I haven't used this card since week one. That's the thing to remember. Um, but 90 offense, 79 defense, three hot shots are outside the three point line, 12 gold badges, um, good amount of silver badges, gets no defensive badges at all. Defense is awful, but he can dunk the ball. He can shoot the ball and he's kind of slow at this point, but his dribble sigs are great and his jumper is super nice, uh, which is really, really valuable. I like his sigs a lot. Um, his jumper is great. It's quick. It's easy to green. He has bronze sniper, silver limo spot up silver chef silver blinders silver hot sun hunter gold catch um bronze posterizer can be upgraded gets quick chain bullet pass on bronze silver quick first step i'm gonna put him in d tier because the card is very outdated and i haven't used him in a while and i feel like at this point he's kind of slow and i would struggle to score with him and his defense is admittedly putrid but when we get a good damian lillard say we get a pink diamond damian lillard in the near future he has the potential to be a top couple point guard in the game because he is really really that good this year pete damian lillard is a phenomenal card a guy that i am very hot on. pete maravich is the second s tier point guard in my opinion he is my second favorite point guard in my team right now or he's tied really for my second favorite point guard in my team 96 offense 85 defense three out of five hot sets are outside the three-point line 89 speed and excel with an 89 speed of the ball 50 driving dunk he can dunk the ball he will dunk when he's open which is nice 93 shot three decent ish not great defensive stats but he's six foot five with the six eight wingspan that's great size for a point guard his shooting is phenomenal comes with silver chef does not get sniper or limitless spot up but he has the ray allen base his jumper is so easy to green shifty dribble style as well which is super nice he dribbles the ball phenomenally hall of fame ankle breaker uh gold quick first step handles today's hyperdrive bullet passer bailout uh quick chain 
Silver Dimer, um, defensively, he has the pick dodger and pickpocket badges, which are de decent defensive badges on silver, so at least there's something there. And his shooting badges, I mean, he just he shoots the ball at such a high level. He feels relatively fast. He's got great size, which helps him defensively, similar to a Spencer Dinwiddie uh, in terms of his defensive ability. And offensively, he is absolutely elite. Very, very hard to guard. Very, very good card, in my opinion. Rondo is... Um, Rondo would be higher if his three-point shot was better, but the thing is, with a, the inability to dunk the ball, only a 70 shot three, he's got great speed and defense, but that's it. Gold clamps, Hall of Fame ankle braces, and tireless defender, uh, gold pick dodger, pickpocket ball stripper, silver interceptor, intimidator, rebound chaser, bronze pogo, can get rim protector, I guess, but silver quick first step isn't great, can't shoot the ball at all, can't dunk the ball, he's only six foot one, he has a good wingspan, but defensively he's great, and he's got a nice jump shot, and he can dribble a little bit, but the thing is, with a terrible, with a lack of a three-point rating, and no dunking ability at all all he does is defend and i feel like he's like almost a worst wall for so i'm going to put him in d tier despite the fact that i honestly do like the card darren fox i'm going to put in b tier because i really do think darren fox is a solid card who gets a bit overlooked um I guess I need to add the apostrophe. But De'Aaron is 92 offense, 86 defense, or I'm sorry, 88 defense, 6 3 with 6 6 wings, but two hot shots are outside the three point line. A 76 shot three, which is kind of low, but his jumper is super nice. John, John Wall upper, Paul George lower, left handed, quick dribble style, good dribble stakes, profile behind the back. Uh, he dribbles the ball nicely, honestly. 95 speed and excel, 95 speed, the ball is great. 80 driving dunk as well. He's got good playmaking badges, comes with gold, quick for step, bullet, Hall of Fame downhill. Uh, honestly, you can't really upgrade many of his badges at all except for some playmaking badges, but he does have silver poster as your gold slithery gold fast switch acrobat giant slayer a couple of shooting badges not really good shooting badges to be fair but when he's open he can grain he's got a nice jump shot which helps him out uh, i'm definitely a lot more confident shooting with a De'Aaron fox than i would be shooting with a rondo or even a walt fraser um definitely a guy that i like more and he has the ability to dunk the ball he dribbles solidly dribbles really well actually uh We'll play just a little bit of defense as well, which is nice with the bronze interceptor, bronze pickpocket, silver pick dodger, ankle braces, ball stripper, gold pogo, silver hustler, things like that help him out. He's got great speed. I like the card. De'Aaron Fox is always a really nice budget card. This year is no different. I really do think De'Aaron Fox is a solid card. Allen Iverson is a A-tier point guard in my opinion. I definitely think Allen Iverson is still a very solid point guard option. 94 speed and excel, 83 shot, 3, 85 driving dunk. Shoots the ball at a high level, can get others, all of his shooting badges touched up to gold. Uh, comes with silver quick versus step gold quick chain hoff ankle breaker and handles for days gold bailout silver bullet dimer uh bronze hyperdrive unpluckable glue hands silver interceptor pick dodger pickpocket ball stripper gold pogo and bronze hustler uh six foot six the ringspan is tiny but the thing is he's like De'Aaron fox a little bit smaller but can shoot the ball better uh dribbles phenomenally as well ai is so nice his jumper is incredible it's the trey burke base good upper it's easy to green it's super fast uh he dribbles the ball really nicely he's a great great card uh ai is still a top point guard in the game i'm not quite as high on him as some people are but I do think he is a very, very solid point guard option and still does deserve to be an A-tier point guard in my team. Now, D Brown. I'm not even going to put D Brown on the tier yet because I don't know what the card looks like when he's evo to be completely honest. And I'm going to put his evo version, obviously, on this list. Uh, to evo him, it's actually not that hard to evo him. So, one Hall of Fame batch, 18 golds, 6-1 with 6-4 wingspan, 89 speed, 85 shot 3, 89 driving dunk, decent defensive stats. He's just a mediocre all-around card. Doesn't get clamps. Um, he's also undersized at only 6-1. Um, Hoff chase down artist is nice. Gold pogo, silver ankle braces, and pick dodger. Can get interceptor, intimidator, pickpocket. Um, um, silver quick for step that can be upgraded as well as ankle breaker comes with uh, silver bullet can be upgraded as well handles for days can't but that's fine quick chain can which is nice silver unpluckable as well finishing badges look decent jump shot 40 is solid um, and base dribble style is terrible the base dribble style puts it over the edge for me this card is D tier the fact that you can't really get to give him a couple of those important defensive badges he's undersized and has a bad dribble style that's a D tier point guard for me D Rose is another A tier point guard I'd say he's the second or third best a tier point guard um d rose is still a great point guard option still going to struggle on the defensive end of the court and he's not an elite shooter but his size up is so good his slashing ability is so good and you can shoot the ball a little bit as well and defensively he's not completely awful can get interceptor can get pick dodger pickpocket rim protector things of that nature um has hall of fame quick first step with his size up is stupid cheesy he's got the best size up in the game um quick dribble style as well his jumper's super fast it's easy enough to green he's stupid fast just as a card in general and he can shoot the ball a little bit as well which is nice can get the dead eye badge uh comes with catch on bronze corner can be upgraded just a couple of its badges can be touched which is really really valuable i think great playmaking great slashing ability and not the worst defense on this list but his size and his dribble is dribbling ability in terms of uh, coupled with his slashing ability i should say makes him incredibly cheesy and does still make him an a-tier point guard in my team 
Kyrie Irving is... You know what? I'm going to put Kyrie Irving D tier. This is a list of the best point guards in the game, and I don't think Kyrie is one of the best point guards in the game anymore. 94 offense, 81 defense, three hot shots are out of five from outside the three-point line. 85 speed and excel is slow. He has to have quick first step added, which when added, it makes him better. But he has bronze limitless, which is nice. Gold sniper, doesn't get blinders at all, which kind of hurts for a 300 point guard like a Kyrie. Defensive badge wise, he can get interceptor, um, a ball stripper, a cup chase down artist, I guess, a couple of defensive badges. But his defensive stats are awful. He can't dunk the ball at all. He can shoot, but his jumper is kind of slow and ugly. Uh, and then dribble six wise, he's great, but his layup package stinks. He has layups that get dunked, that get blocked a lot. Um, and he's a great dribbler with a decent three hunting ability. His jumper's not, I guess, terrible, but he plays no defense. He's not super big. And the bad layup package, some of the missing badges, things like that, just not a good card at this point. I think I'm not high on him. Not a guy that I personally would use. So I think he's a D tier point guard. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to move D, D Brown down to F tier because that card is just not a card I've ever seen anybody use. Uh, I think Chris Paul is a D tier point guard as well. CP3 is, again, too small, can't dunk the ball. Um, but. Six foot foot, six foot wingspan. He's very small, obviously. Three hot spots outside the three point line is nice. He shoots the ball decently, which I will say comes with most defense, most of his shooting badges, at least on silver. Um, Hall of Fame Dimer, Mismatch Expert, and Floor General are solid Hall of Fame badges. Quick first step and quick chain handles for today's hyperdrive. They can all be upgraded to gold, which helps out with those playmaking badges. Gold clamps, gold interceptor, gold pick dodger, pickpocket, ball stripper, ankle braces, good defensive bat stats as well, and solid speed shoot long acceleration. Help him out, but he can't shoot the ball. He's very undersized. I'm sorry, he can't dunk the ball. He's very undersized can shoot the ball decently his jumper is kind of slow not a great jumper and dribble style is solid uh moving behind the back is good he's just very very small which hurts him on honestly both ends of the court and can't dunk the ball at all he's not a card that i personally recommend using i think you can make an argument he's a c-tier point guard um but for me personally right now i think he is a d-tier point guard fred brown is you know my boy grassy who qualified for 250 has convinced me on Fred Brown. I think he is a C-tier point guard. He's six three with six four wingspan. He's got a good player build. Three out of five hot spots are outside the three point line. A 92 shot three. Can dunk the ball with a 50 driving dunk. He can actually dunk the ball, which is nice. Something that Kyrie does not give you. He's faster than Kyrie and he's a better defender than Kyrie. Comes with the silver inter or I'm sorry, silver ankle braces, gold pick dodger, bronze interceptor, and intimidator. Um, can get like a couple of badges like a rim protector as well, which is nice. Comes with the ability to get. He already has silver quick first step, gold quick chain, gold bullet, gold bailout, which is nice. Uh, bronze sniper is nice can get chef can get blinders comes with gold catch dead eye hot zone hunter uh bronze corner green machine can be upgraded bronze mismatch so at least he has those badges can get posterizer as well um Kyrie jumper base dribble style is very unfortunate and you know what the base dribble style hurts the card if he had a better dribble style i feel like he would be higher on this list but honestly he's a card who i feel like is kind of similar to an oscar robertson a little bit more undersized can carly create and score a little bit better and he's just a card that if used properly for whatever reason just plays really really well i don't think statistically he's a great card not a guy who i think a lot of people would have expected me to put in c tier but i think he's a solid card now isaiah thomas is the best point guard besides gary payton arguably in my team like it's between isaiah and pete maravich i feel like but the more that i use isaiah he is just so good um six one with six four wingspan is undersized but he does everything he gets every badge in the game that if you want to add them to him every badge of his can be upgraded as well which is super valuable can get clamps on gold already comes with gold interceptor hustler pick dodger bras ball stripper and pickpocket can, can be upgraded to gold he gets ankle braces chase hours intimidator um gets snipers sniper blinders chef limitless things like that as well 82 shot three which is good enough 95 speed and excel 95 driving dunkies glitch to be able to dunk the ball 95 speed of the ball as well and defensive stats are great jump shot is super nice dribble sigs are good quick dribble style he's got a nice size up he does everything nice half limitless takeoff post riser dimer and floor general are really nice hall of fame badges he is a great great card a little bit undersized compared to the other two s tier point guards but he does everything on the court at a high level he is a better derrick rose he is an s tier point guard in my personal opinion jalen suggs if you touch his badges, I think he's a C-tier point guard without a debate. I might be gassing it just a little bit, but Jalen Suggs is honestly super, super nice. He is 6'4", 6'5", having sense, great size for a point guard. Two hot shots from outside the three-point line, 88 speed and excel, 88 speed with ball, 80 driving dunk, 84 shot three, 83 perimeter, 84 lateral. Comes with silver interceptor and pick dodger, gets ankle braces and ball stripper, has gold pogo and hustler. 
uh, bullet passer. His quick first step can be upgraded. Silver bailout can get ankle breaker. Um, can get quick chain. Comes with limitless spot up, um, catch and shoot, green machine, hot zone hunter. Uh, has a good jump shot as well, which is nice. It's easy to green. Quick dribble style, good dribble sticks. He does everything. He can dunk the ball. He is a great, great budget point guard. He's like a thousand at TSL. Stupid cheap. Phenomenal card, honestly. I think he's probably better than like a. I mean, there's a couple cards on this list that I think he might be better than uh, in the C tier. Like, he is a very, very good card. Jalen Suggs is the best Sapphire point guard in the game by far. <laughs> the only card on this list in the Sapphire tier. And he's on the C tier because I think he really does deserve to be a C tier point guard. Now, Darren Williams is another guy who similarly to Fred Brown I feel like is just a solid card that can kind of do it all but doesn't have a great dribble style so Darren Williams I'm also going to put in C tier because I think he is similar to Fred Brown um, he's got good speed 93 speed and excel 93 speed of the ball and I need three point shot 70 driving dunk is solid defensive stats are decent comes with clamps that can be upgraded interceptor as well can be upgraded gold pick dodger pickpocket silver ankle braces bronze ball stripper all those defensive badges can be touched also chase down artist can be added intimidator can be added um which is nice as well. He can get the quick first step. He already has quick first step. I'm sorry, on gold. Uh, has bullet passer on gold, ankle breaker on gold, dimer on gold, silver bailout, silver hyperdrive. Um, can get, get the quick chain badge. Hoff floor general and unpluckable Hall of Fame difficult shots as well. Can get blinders, limitless spot up, and chef. Uh, slashes decently. His jump shot is base 38, which is really nice to green. Base dribble style as well. He's a great off the ball player 6'3 6'10 wingspan with super long arms with decent height as well he can defend he's very similar to uh, fred bound i feel like honestly probably a slightly better fred bound just a really solid card a guy that i do like uh, a lot at the point guard position just not a guy that i would pay for at this point in the season with how many point guards there are that are better than him but he's definitely a solid solid option overall Bob Cousy is D tier just like Chris Paul. I think they're very, very similar cards. Both of them are short and can't dunk the ball. That being said, Bob Cousy is 6'1 with a 6'8 wingspan, so he's a little bit bigger than Chris Paul. Hot shots from everywhere outside the three point line as well. Gold sniper is nice, gold catch, bronze blinders, can get chef and the spot up. All his shooting badges can be upgraded pretty much. Uh, dimer on gold, ankle breaker on gold. Silver quick first step can be upgraded. Bronze bullet passer can be upgraded. Silver bailout as well. Cast silver clamps, silver ankle braces, silver pick dodger and pickpocket. All of those except for the clamps can be upgraded. He gets a couple defensive badges as well. Defensive stats are good. Speed, speed of the ball, and acceleration is all good at a 90. Can't dunk the ball. Good three point shot. Same base as Chris Paul. Shifty dribble style, which means he moves very similarly to Chris Paul. They're very, very similar cards. They're basically identical. They give you the same thing on the court. And then you have Steve Nash, who I think if you badge out, ah. You know what? I've seen people effectively use Steve Nash. So for that reason, I'm going to put Steve Nash in the C tier. I think you can use this card competitively still if you badge him out fully, like fully. 6-3 the 6 6 wingspan though. 92 speed and excel, 92 th shot three. Can't dunk the ball at all. Decent defensive stats, and he does have good size, which is nice. Um, shooting badge wise, he's solid. Gold sniper, gold uh, blinders, catch, and hot zone hunter. Bronze chef on limitless, silver dead eye. Uh, Hall of Fame dimer, floor journal, needle threader, gold ankle breaker, bailout, downhill handles for days, hyperdrive, quick first step, unplug quick chain and glue hands that can be upgraded um, gets every defensive badge as well which is super valuable you can add for example clamps interceptor pogo stick pickpocket and um i don't know another defensive badge like an ankle braces or a ball stripper also comes with gold pick dodger already defensive stats are decent as well fully badged he's very very solid on i think fully badged he's a very similar card to you know what he's definitely a cj point guard fully badged he's similar to fred van vliet actually so i think you could almost make an argument that he's a that fully badged he's a b tier card but most people don't have him fully badged and uh, they don't realize how good of a card he is animations wise his jump shot's nice as well and his dribble style does allow him to burst it's one of those personal dribble styles similar to a crisp ball dribble style where you can burst out of it um some of the dri personal dribble styles can't be bursted out of steve nash's is one that can so that is going to do it for this video though this is my tier list for the best point guards in NBA 2K22, my team right now. Let me know in the comments down below what you agree with, what you disagree with. And I'm going to have tier lists coming over the next week or so for every single position in NBA 2K22, my team. So if you do enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.